again to another episode of Plant Anatomy and Embryology Experiment. Today, the aim of the experiment is to dissect out the endosperm from a developing seed. In the previous practical session, I told you how to dissect out the embryo or at which stage. Right now, we are going to dissect out the endosperm. So, let's see the requirements. The requirements are under plant material, we are going to use cucumber, kira. It gives exceptionally good results. In chemicals, as usual, we are going to use saffron, the red stain, and glycerin as a mountain. In glass first, we are going to use simply glass slides and in miscellaneous, we are going to use blade, camera, brush, compound microscope. It goes all the more similar to the previous experiment. So let's see how to go about it. The procedure is very much similar to the previous experiment on embryo. So the procedure How will you do it? You take some seeds. Let's say these are the seeds of the cucumber. Now here it is not necessary to arrange the seeds according to the size. But one thing you must keep in mind the seeds which are absolutely translucent don't use those seeds rather seeds which are opaque in nature you can very easily distinguish once you put all the seeds on water in a petri plate those opaque seeds would give you better results because the opaque seeds are much more tough to handle much more easier to handle they are tough. So you can press them, you can hold them properly and then what you need to do? With a blade, you put a slit on the blunt end. Don't put a slit on the tapered end. Do not put any slit on the pointed end. Put slit always on the blunt end with the blade. Then you split open the seed. You split open the seed coat. And then, as usual, take a glass slide, put a drop of water, and then on that drop of water, when you split open the seed coat, with the help of brush, you brush out the entire content of the seed. And what would be the content of the seed? You see, the pointed end would have an embryo. The pointed end would have an embryo. So pointed end means it's a micropylar end. The micropylar end would have the embryo, but this time we are not interested in embryo. We are going to see the endosperm. So endosperm would be present at the chalazal end. So this is the endosperm, mere bachyo. So this entire portion is the endosperm. So it would be a very, very thin, translucent, membranous structure, which would be multinucleated. So, once you brush the entire content of the cell on that drop of water, you will see a thin film-like structure, maybe, that might even, even have the embryo at the micropylar end. So, this particular thin film-like structure was multinucleated, you see, it has got so it is multicellular, multinucleated. So, this is the Endosperm. So endosperm 
is absolutely thin, translucent, membranous, multinucleated. So we are interested in seeing only this particular endosperm. Then what you are going to do? You put a drop of saffronine, wait for 5 minutes, allow the stain to penetrate, put a drop of glycerin as a mountain, put the cover slip and then you observe under the microscope at 10x and then go you for 20x.